What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips. And these are questions that are frequently asked to me on stream, DMs, YouTube. And they're pretty pretty basic but general and questions that people ask me because they really want to know and I thought it would help you guys out so let's get right into it I'm gonna try to go in depth as possible and just for you guys to know these are tips for obviously upcoming players players who are amateurs who, who want to get into a pro scene and all that stuff so number one how can I improve my aim a lot of people ask me this they see me they see my sticks they see my aim they're like damn apathy how do you have such a good shot and basically the main thing I tell them yeah I have a pretty I think I, I have a pretty good aim myself right my shots pretty nice it's smooth it's clean I hit almost all my shots 99% of the time so yeah I understand why you're asking me that but the main way the main way to improve your aim is basically by playing a lot I tell everybody the same thing they always DM me they tweet me in streams how can I improve my aim well there's obviously little tips like you can get in a game of bots put the health to like the maximum and then shoot bots and keep practicing keep shooting the bots and your aim's gonna get really really accurate it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna you're not gonna miss right you're just gonna be killing all the bots and your shots is gonna be on a point after a period of time because you're, you're gonna get so used to it you know you're gonna get used to snapping people you're gonna get used to centering so that's a good way but the main thing the main thing is to play a lot man that's the way my shot got really good you know when you play a lot you obviously get in a lot of gunfights you obviously you're you're constantly aiming so the more you play the better your aim is gonna get you know you're gonna get in awkward gun situations you know you're gonna get an awkward gunfights where the guy's gonna be boosting somewhere and the more you get in those situations the more you're gonna learn how to like aim or maneuver or you know get uh, use your movement to your advantage like you, you let's say you're, you're in an awkward spot you back dash and you aim in you know stuff like that so just play a lot guys play a lot that's how you improve your aim I also do use dome sticks which personally I like it I feel like it makes my shot a tad bit better and but you know I really like it so that if you want you guys want to try out dome sticks as well then go ahead question number two is any tips for land the biggest thing that I tell every person that asks me that is be confident confidence is key on land man you know online I feel like it can destroy your confidence at time because you're getting joked you're getting warrior you're getting bullshitted you know it's constantly just killing your vibe it's killing it makes you feel it just discourages you you think oh well Last time I went in this room, you know, the guy killed me. I lost my gunfire for some reason. And it just like over time, you kind of lose confidence. But honestly, man, when it comes to land, you got to think of it this way. The connection is pretty much fair. You know, if you're confident in your, gu in your gun skill and your gun, when you're in your, yeah, pretty much in your gun skill, if you're confident, you know, you're going to go into that room, into that game feeling really confident. You're going to win most of your gunfights. You know, you're going to play better than rather, you know, just not be confident. And that's a big thing I feel like with all amateur players. You know, you go to your first land, your second land, whatever it is, and you, you're not, you, you don't have that confidence yet. You don't have that build up, but like, that's a big thing. I think that's something really important in gaming, especially if you're starting up, because I remember when I was starting up, I would get nervous sometimes, but I would be pretty confident within myself. I know what I was capable of, and I would get nervous when I would play pros or a really good team. But it, it, like in that sense, like it's okay to get nervous sometimes, you know, especially when you're just starting off, you're going to get nervous when you get on land. But the main thing is you got to try to kill those nerves. You got to be confident, confident going into the game. You know, don't be overly confident. Don't think you're like the shit. You're the best in the world. You're going to be everybody, but be confident going into the game. Confidence is a huge, huge thing on land. Like you, that's a difference between I could play like shit one map and then I'm like, all right, man. And then become really confident and just rush shit in S and D and get like two, three pieces and like stuff like that. So yeah, guys, that's the main tip for land. Another little tips are like make sure you eat before you play. Try not to eat at least an hour before you play because you want to feel energy. You want, you want to feel really good going into your match. Drink a lot of water or G fuel if you want. I personally like to drink a lot of water or G fuel while I play. You know, keeps me hydrated, keeps me feeling good. Another thing that I gotta say is warming up. Warming up can be a key factor in winning. A lot of people don't understand that, but there's different type of players, right? There's people who need to warm up for a long time. There's players that don't need to warm up at all. There's players who can warm up for a short time if you're all right. You know, everybody's different. This is how it's always been. You know, not everybody's going to be the same. Not everybody's, everybody's going to feel the same. So, for example, me, I can warm up 20, 15, 10, 15 minutes and I feel good. But I like to continue to warm up because I want to feel very prepared for my match. I like to feel very, you know, warm. You know, I'm ready. I got this. My shot's on point. Everything's on point. I'm good. But there's players who can warm up 10 minutes and be like, all right, I'm done. I don't even need to play anymore. My match is about to start soon, so what I'm just going to chill. But, you know, like warming up can be a key factor at times. I've played a team that's warmed up for like an hour, 
and then we warmed up for like five minutes and we lose like three two like I'm not saying it's a huge factor but I feel like it, it can be a small factor at times just because they are slightly a little bit more prepared it's probably winning them some gunfights here and there that allows them to win a game, stuff like that, but make sure to warm up. Third question, what's a good way to find a team? So a lot of people ask me this, you know, how can I find a team? What can I do? Where do I go? Well, back in the day, we used to use game battles. Game battles, was, they obviously had the forums. You know, you go in there, I'm pretty sure there's a free agent forums, which people, like you, the noobs used to use, and then the players would use the online tournaments forums, where like most of the pro players and top amateur players would go. But I'm pretty sure that's still available. You can go there. Um, you know, if you don't have a Twitter, or if you have low count followers or something like that, and you're, you're struggling to find a team, that's usually the best way to go, especially if you're just starting. But you can also go Twitter, man. Twitter is the best social media right now, especially for gaming. It's a big way to interact with other players and all that stuff. So, you, you know, it's kind of hard. I understand if you have low count followers, that's what I'm saying, use game battles. But... You know, you can try to add, like, what's his name, Sean, I believe, uh, Scumpy's dad. He retweets every tweet. There's other players. I retweet tweets sometimes, but don't add me. Uh, I might retweet a tweet once in a while, but I've done that too much. I, I'm, I feel like I'm too generous sometimes. <sighs> but, yeah, guys, and it isn't easy. You know, a lot of people tell me, uh, you know, I'm struggling a lot to find a team right now. What do I do? I can't find the right players. And I'm telling you, man, when I was coming up, you know, I wasn't blessed to have like good players right away. I didn't start at the start, you know. So it takes time to be to get with good players. At least now, there's a lot of people who strive to be good. There's a lot of people who want to be good, you know, amateurs who, who are gunning for the top. I feel like there's more players finally playing. So it makes it a little bit easier. But at the same time, it's always going to be hard to find those really dedicated players, those players that really want to win. You know, players that share the same goals as you. But after all, you know, my way of do doing it pretty much was I kept improving individually. I kept climbing up, you know, joined a good team, um, either we broke up or I decided to leave for a better team and maybe after a couple months. And you know, when you get a good offer, a really good offer, you know it's going to make your career better, you know it's, it's good for you, you know, you got to just take that step and move on and keep working for your goals. Fourth question, how can I get some recognition in this bitch? Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to say that word, but a lot of people ask me this and that's a hard thing to do, you know, it is pretty hard to get recognized in the gaming community, especially if you're just an upcoming player, that's a really hard thing. But you guys know a lot of players like SD stars that are pretty known around the community, or you know, players who play varying tournaments that are warriors and stuff like that. So you see how they get their status, right? We know them, you know, we kind of know their players would be like, oh shit, we're playing Derpin, this kid's a this kid's a joke on his host. Like it, we we have it in our head because we know we've played them. That goes back to how do you get recognized? Well, a lot of ways. First of all, and I think the most important way is probably online tourneys. You know, you can't rely on going to land every time. Land is a very strong way to, you know, make a point, stand on this bitch, tell, pe tell people that, you know, you're here to play. You're not here to play games. I said video games. I don't know. That's pretty whack. But, you know, you, you basically going to land and placing good proves a point, right? You're like, oh, shit, this kid's pretty good. He's not that bad. And, you know, and the more you play, and then when they play against you, they're going to remember you. But online tournament, I mean, land is kind of hard for that to happen. You know, you want to start off, you obviously have to start off somewhere, especially you're not going to just go to land. You're probably going to place T64, T32. So you're not going to get much recognition unless amongst the amateur scene. You know, so the best way is online tourneys. There's S&D tourneys, there's variant, there's all these things. And it's pretty hard, but that's the best way. And something I learned, you know, you got to invest money to make money or to to get somewhere, right? I remember when I was becoming a pro and I had to play MW2, my mom didn't want to put her credit card on the website, you know, because I didn't have money, so I had to use her credit card. She's like, she, she doesn't trust the website, she doesn't want to waste that money. It was like $40 to get into PCO one $40 worth of credits. And I was like, well, you know, I really need this money. Like, I explained to her, I talked to her for like 20 minutes saying, you know, this this is the only way I can get recognition. Like, I'm not even sure I'm gonna place top, I placed, ended up placing top 16 in the PCO. Which is actually pretty good, but it's nothing special, of course. You know, you want to play place at like at least top eight. So, but I told her, you know, this I need, I need this. You know, I need you to do this. This is the only way I'm gonna climb up. You know, even if I don't place it good, this is the way people are. I'm gonna get some recognition, and hopefully from there, you know, in the near future, I could get somewhere else to a better team or whatever. So I need you to do this. And over time, you know, after about 30 minutes, she understood the situation. She didn't really understand, so she ended up paying for it. And you know, it helped me get where I am today because that's the way you have to do. You have to invest money sometimes. So 
online tourneys, wagers, even land events. If you have a good squad, go ahead and try to prove a point, make everybody know who you are. And the last question before I go, because this has been quite a long video. I didn't think it was going to be this long, but I do want to give you guys some tips because I always love helping the community. So, how can I improve? Now, this kind of goes back to how can I improve my aim, but I want to go a little bit more in depth with it. People always ask me, how can I improve? And I tell them, you know, play a lot. Because playing a lot is obviously probably the main factor in improving, you know. You, the more you play, the better you're going to get. Uh, you know, you play the game type a million times, you play, the you play a lot of situations, and you understand that what you did wrong, you know, it's pretty much trial and error. You figure out, okay, well, I pushed this, it was dumb, I shouldn't have done that. And it kind of keeps going in your head. And sometimes you might not learn the few, first few times, you, you kind of keep doing the same mistake. But then over time, you're going to realize, okay, I did this too many times. And it's finally going to click in your head. It's going to become a habit. Okay, I need to do this. And that's that's the main thing, right? Playing a lot. But there's obviously other factors like your mentality. You need to have a strong mentality in gaming. You know, players don't want to play with other people that complain, that bitch. You know, those players that are constantly moaning or bitching at their teammates and stuff. I can get a little bit like that. Everybody can get a little bit like that because gaming can be really frustrating. Especially when your teammates are choking or not doing something right. And you, it's, it's hitting you right in the heart. But you gotta learn how to control yourself. You gotta learn how to how to come off a little better, especially in game. The biggest thing that I feel like players don't understand is in game you shouldn't really complain. I mean, it's more like land that we uh, most players do this. But obviously, on, when we play online, we still complain a little bit, like, "Hey, you shouldn't have done this," or "Why'd you do that?" Because you know you get frustrated. You know, you, you, you gotta you gotta make sure they understand because when it comes to the big event, when it comes to you know when we're all ready to play. You know, that, that has to be all said and done. That already has to be in their head. It's, it's not time to make mistakes. So a lot of players, especially like me, I tr I've been trying to improve my team. And my team has trying to improve me. You know, been, they've been telling me here and there, oh, you did this wrong, you did this wrong, next time do this. And, you know, I'm constantly trying to improve myself. I think individually I'm pretty skilled. I know what I'm doing. I'm very good. But I'm not perfect. Nobody is. And I think there's always room for improvement. So I know sometimes i got to work on my communication a little bit. And, you know, I got to maybe uh, on a game type. I think hard point, I'm very solid. I think uplink, I do a little mistakes here and there, but I'm really improving. You know, I remember I was missing a lot of my ones in uplink. And I don't know, it's because I guess I just don't play uplink that much anymore. And I've never been that good at making ones. I've been decent, but I'll miss some here and there. But that's bad. You know, you want to have a consistent team. You want to have consistency with your ones. So I ended up playing for like, in two days, I ended up playing like an hour to an hour and a half of just uplinks, just throwing straight up throwing ones and having fun, you know, just chilling. But that's a way you, that's something you need to do, you know. People try to compare this game and try to compare this sport, even though it's not a sport, but you got to think of it like a sport. You know, what do player, football players do? What do all these people do when they practice? They practice hard. They figure out their mistakes. They do this. They, they practice every single little thing. And, you know, in gaming, yeah, Call of Duty isn't that difficult. It can be pretty simple. But, you know, how, how good do you want to be? Do you want to be the best? Like, I can sit here, just play, play the, what's it called? Play the 5K, play the 2K, play scrims and get off, right? You know, that's, that's all to it. Will I be good? Yes, I'll probably be pretty good. But will I be one of the best? Probably not. You know, my ones will still probably suck over time. You know, my communication won't be that good. You know, um, probably my positioning sometimes or my situation, situ situational gunfights or whatever situation I might be in my suck. But I decide, you know, I want to be better than that. I want to practice more. So I play money aids, even though money aids can be kind of this detrimental at times. But it can also be really good because you, you play more, you play with other pros, you, you learn stuff that something, something you probably didn't know. Or, you know, I put in a time, like I said, to shoot once and I, I talk to my teammates after after we lose, you know, I talk to my teammates for like 30 minutes, like, oh, we did this wrong, this wrong. They'll be like, you know what, you should have said, you should have, you should have called out that we should have did this in the S&D, like a certain strat. I'll be like, yeah, you know, you're right. I should have said something. I, I decided to, you know, just go with you guys. But in the end of the day, in the end of the day, like I thought they were wrong. So I should have just spoke up and said, you know what, we should have hit A. And stuff like that and it's I just want to constantly improve and right now you know I'm on team rise we're doing pretty good but I know I want to make this team better I know we can be better we got three events coming up MES DC and then season three playoffs so I definitely want to strive to be the best and I've been putting in time and putting in the work so it's really simple to improve you just got to put in the time put in the work and if you want to like like I said if you want to be the basic guy the guy who's okay who's pretty good 
or do you want to be one of the best? You know, you got to put the time, you got to put in the work, you got to fix your mistakes, you got to see what you're doing wrong, ask your teammates, and get better. Woo! It's been a pretty long video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Always want to give back to the community and try to give some tips. You know, I'm a pro player. I've won a couple events. I've placed very good. Unfortunately, this game I haven't placed in the best, but I obviously know what I'm doing and I know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys had a great day and hope you guys love the video. Apathy is out.